Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. Uh, this is video in the Azure PowerShell playlist and uh, this video we will discuss about how we can create Azure Windows VM using PowerShell code. In our previous video we have seen how to create resource group in the Azure using PowerShell. It is like continuation to it. If you haven't watched previous videos of Azure playlist, I would strongly encourage you to watch them and then continue this video so that you will get most out of it. So let's focus on uh, how to create Azure Windows VM using PowerShell. The first step will be always connecting to Azure portal first. So I have opened PowerShell 7 already here. You can hit start button and you can search like PowerShell and you will see the PowerShell 7 interactive console there. You can open it from there. Okay. And you, I have already discussed how to install the PowerShell 7 in the earlier videos. So please check them. So here to connect with your Azure subscription and Azure portal, uh, technically you have to enter a command here, uh, which is connect as hyphen as a account. When you hit that, it will open a browser for you. And in the browser, you can select your identity to authenticate yourself. So let me select Mahir Basha at the rate outlook.com ID. So using which I want to connect to the Azure portal. So authentication is successful. Now you can see that even in the console also that I have connected to Azure account successfully. To see that authentication or to see to which subscription you have connected, you can also try this get az context command. This will tell you like what is the tenant ID, what is the subscription ID to which you have connected. So let me try this clear command to clear the console. Now my intention is to create a Windows VM. So first step right, I will create the resource group. Okay, so how to create a resource group? So in our previous video, we know that we can try that new az resource group command. Then we can use name of the resource group and we can provide the location of the resource group as well. And this command we have clearly explained in our previous class. So please check there. So let me hit enter to start creating this resource group first. When I execute this command, it will create a resource group. You can see that resource group creation is successful. I can validate the same by going to the browser and I have already connected to my Azure and let me refresh this resource groups here. I should see demo resource group and when I go inside right now there is no resource available there. Okay. So now coming back to our console PowerShell console. Now let's try to use a command that will create a VM. So for that there is a command new hyphen az vm. Okay. And in my PowerShell playlist, I have discussed about this commands structure and all right. Uh, generally you will have now uh, verb there and then you will have noun. So that is the syntax of any command let in the Azure PowerShell. So it is very easy to remember. So I have entered this entire command. If you clearly observe new az vm, that is the command name. And then for the resource group parameter, we are sending in which resource group I want to create a VM and what is the VM name I want to be and where I want that VM and the location parameter, uh, sorry, image parameter. I am giving this Windows server because I want to create the Windows VM. So I am using that. Not only that we are for the virtual network, we are giving VNet for the subnet. We are giving a name for the security group. We are giving it and we are enabling the public IP address so that I can get a IP address and I can connect to the VM and show you you guys. So this is the way I'm creating a VM. Okay, so I have pasted this command directly here. So you guys can try by yourself as well. So let me hit enter here to create the VM creation. And when we tried that, it will ask to give the username, right? So for the VM to authenticate, I'm using Mahir as a username. And let me try password as well here. So password should contain capital letter, small letter, special character and digit everything. Okay. So let me hit enter. Now this will start creation process of the VM. You can see that the progress is here. So once it reaches hundred percent, that's where the VM creation will get happen actually. Cool. Progress went hundred percent and I can see the details of the VM got created. I can validate same by going to the Azure portal. So in the Azure portal for the demo resource group, let me hit this refresh button and see if my VM created. You can see that it created so many things. It created VM, it created uh, some network related resources and all these things. Why all this happened? 
if you remember our command we have mentioned all the details there right so when you create a vm you will need to create all this uh, virtual networks and other things uh, to manage your uh, vm properly not only this you can try lot of other parameters also in that new az vm command uh, depending upon your use case here i am just creating a simple windows vm so now let me go to this vm resource which is demo vm and under overview i should see uh, a ip address here let me copy this ip address and let me try to connect to this vm to practically show you so for that i can select this run command and here i can try mstsc and uh, let me click ok so it will open this remote desktop connection and here i can give my uh, ip address here and uh, i can hit the show options and i can give my username and now let me hit connect this will ask me to enter the password so let me enter password now so once i entered password and when i click ok that's where uh, this remote connection will establish the connection to the vm click yes here and uh, let's wait for the uh, connection establishment to happen and we can practically see the vm there you can see that vm is getting loaded here cool you can see that vm is ready now I can also check the properties of this VM. Okay, I can see what is the RAM and other details as well if I am really interested. So to do that, what I can do, I can click this start menu and go to the this PC and go to the properties. Let me do that. Let me close this server window, uh, the server manager window which it opened. Let me go to the start here and here uh, I can go to this PC and properties. Okay, so or else let me do one thing. Let me open file explorer. And in the file explorer, I will go to the this PC and right click on the this PC and go to the properties. This should give me all the VM properties here. Okay. So you can see that about section and you can see all the process, RAM and other details here. Okay. So let me close this to close this uh, VM connection here. So this is how we can create the VM. Let's see how to delete it. So always it is better when you guys are trying this demo try to create the entire resource group so that it will delete everything okay so let me try to delete the entire resource group now so what i will do i will use this remove azure resource group command and for the name parameter i am giving my resource group name when i hit enter it will ask me whether i am really okay to delete it i am hitting y enter so this will take around three to five minutes to complete the process of deleting the resource group so once the resource group get deletes you should not see vm and you should not see any virtual networks there the entire resource group will be automatically deleted okay so that's it in this video i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you like this video hit the like button and consider subscribing to wafa studies youtube channel thank you